Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm coloring from Chibi Girls Grayscale Jade Summer. And I know I've already uh, colored a picture in this for It's All About Jade Summer, but I'm really not... I wanted to color in Flower Girls, but I thought that might take a little um, more thought and planning on my part, and there's a lot going on right now, and I just wanted something that I could just lay some markers down on and chit-chat with you guys for a while and not have to do, you know, too much um, thinking so I decided just to do this. Um, we received word yesterday that my cousin, who is about my age, so um, maybe right about 44 or 45 maybe, he has been chronically ill for um, a little bit of time now, and he had been having a lot of of medical issues and he's been hospitalized and things have been very bad um, he had to be on support like life support and the decision was made yesterday to withdraw that support today so I am waiting for a terrible phone call and I was up very late last night. I couldn't sleep um, thinking about all of all of that. My uncle is not in good health, um, has not been for a very long time himself. And my aunt, whom he worships and adored, passed away almost two years ago to the day, and my aunt, my mom's sister, was my godmother, and it was a very hard blow losing her. It was very sudden. Um, she had just went in for a very simple hernia procedure, and the large, a very large artery, um, I guess they call it the widow maker, apparently ruptured. Um, during that procedure and she passed away so that was almost two years ago to the day and now um, my uncle's son that was my aunt's stepson they did not have any children together my aunt was never able to have children um, but he will probably be passing away shortly and I have lost a child myself, so my heart is aching so hard um, for my uncle right now. And like I said, I couldn't sleep last night. I was really torn up and worried about that. And I'm extremely tired today. But I wanted to do a color and chat because I want to keep the videos coming for you guys. Um, I'm going to be around as much as I can be. Uh, but if you don't see videos, if for whatever reason I'm, I'm just not able to make videos, um, don't worry. I will be back. Um, it'll just be me trying to take a second, um, you know, just, just to take a little, a little bit of time. But if you guys will please, those of you um, who are prayer warriors, if you'll keep my uncle in your prayers... I would greatly appreciate it. Um, it's terrible to lose someone, to lose a child. Oh my goodness. And it doesn't matter if they are, you know, one day old, 10 years old, or 100 years old. I mean, it's, it's, it's your child. Uh, so I'm just, I'm worried about him. I'm not so much worried about my cousin because... He's going to a better place. I believe that. 
and he will be healthy and happy. Um, but it's those of us who are left behind who have to find our way again. Um, that's, that's very, it's a struggle. Uh, the past three and a half years had just been, it's been a rough time for my family in general. We've had a break now for almost two years. Um, but 2015 was a bad year. We lost my sister-in-law very suddenly. Then we lost Brooke. And then right after that, I mean, it was five weeks between my sister-in-law and Brooke. And then three months after Brooke, we lost my other um, sister-in-law. So, yeah. It's been tough. But, you know, we will make it through... So I think I finally figured out the whole Amazon fiasco. It's still not fixed, and Amazon has not replied to my last email to them. <laughs> oh, I haven't called them yet, but for some reason, the Prime account was mine. I opened it off of my Amazon account. I linked Gary's Amazon account so, you know, he could use the benefits as a family member, you know, kind of thing. That's the thing, you know, with Amazon. So I did that. And for whatever reason, when they went in and canceled the Prime and it was set to expire February, it reverted to Gary as being the primary account. So I cannot renew, you know, I, on my end, can't renew it because it's not listed as me as primary anymore. Gary's in the woods. There's nothing that can be done until he gets back tomorrow night. I'll have him log on to his Amazon and we'll try to figure this out. I'm not sure why it would have all of a sudden just listed him as primary. No idea. So that is the deal with that. At least now I know what's going on and how to fix it. And that was what was stressing me out so bad, was not understanding how I was going to fix the problem. So now that I have a good idea of how to fix the problem, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. All right, so my phone thinks it's going to start playing these little games with me today again. Knocking off, knocking off. It can just find somebody else to pick on because I'm not letting it bother me. <laughs> I restarted the phone, and we'll see if that helps. Um, anyhow. Okay, so the prom's taken care of. Oh, I got some happy mail. Happy, happy, happy. Um... I received a beautiful pencil case. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I read the card inside. And I love the pencil case. But I don't know if you did not want your name mentioned or if um, you forgot to sign a name. But there's no name on it. So I don't know. I didn't know, you know, how to get in contact with the subscriber who gifted this to me through my wish list. But thank you very much. You had said in your message that you had also um, ordered the Derwent's electric pencil eraser. I wanted to let you know, um, check your Amazon account because I have not received that. Um, so if it's showing that it was delivered, it was not delivered to me. And, you know, that way you can contact Amazon and either have it reshipped or get yourself a refund or something. But, you know, 
you, thank you so much for thinking of me. You definitely, you know, I wanted you to know that the, um, the electronic eraser from Durant, it did not make it, um, to me, but I love the pencil case and what I did since it's the single, it's got the little single holes in them, you know, where you put each pencil in one and I took and put my Prisma color set, my 150 in there, as well as some of my backup Prismas. And then the case that the Prismas were in, I moved like some of the more, you know, the budget friendly pencils into that case. So that was nice. I'm working on getting um, different cases because I really want my pencils to go in cases that holds, um, you know, it has the individual slots for each pencil. And that's what I'm, you know, trying to work towards with that. Okay. And Miss Deb Lorenz sent me her extra copy of Magical Delights. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it had been sold out at Amazon and I've been really wanting it. And she emailed me and let me know that she had an extra copy. And I was over the moon, tickled pink. So I got that in the mail yesterday. Super duper excited. Um, I'm going to start coloring in that very soon. So thank you both so much for thinking of me. Um, that means the world to me. You know, when you guys go to my wish list, pick something out, send it to me, I just, it makes me feel very special and very loved. And, you know, that's definitely not something you guys have to do, and I understand that, and that makes it mean all the more. So I talked to Gary earlier, and they haven't really had any, well, he hasn't had any luck today. Um, hunting this morning, one of his buddies shot two, and one of his other buddies shot one, and Gary has zero, so him and his other buddy that have not shot anything moved their deer stands before this evening's hunt. Um, I think it's going to be funny if all the deer go right where their deer stands have been <laughs> since they've moved them. But I do hope that Gary's able to harvest a deer on this trip. You know, his, his hunting season's been really bad for him. So I do hope that he is able to harvest one. And I know that he hopes that he's able to harvest one. Um, I really love deer meat. It's kind of... It can be a lot, very bland, and I think that you really have to uh, season it right. But once you add the seasoning, it's amazing. It's a lot more healthy for you than beef. Um, a lot of times, you know, there's not a lot of fat in deer, so if you make like hamburger patties or anything, they tend to not want to stick together well. So what I generally do is I'll take just a little bit of ground beef and mix it in with the deer, with the ground deer, and then it sticks together much better. You know, you can add an egg also, but it's much better for you. And I think deer is adorable animals, and it kind of breaks my heart. To think you know that they're out there killing these poor things because <laughs> they're so innocent but um i understand that overpopulation is a real issue and that the hunting seasons are there to control that over overpopulation because as humans have taken over and we've begun 
you know, building. We've killed a lot of off a lot of natural habitat. And in the woods that they're in, if they get overpopulated, they will starve to death. So I understand the um, importance of being able to hunt. I don't think I could personally shoot a deer. I don't think I could bring myself to do it. But Gary has several, several deer mounts. And I told him that I did not want any more deer mounts. Um, I just, we don't have room for them. But, you know, for the longest, he would shoot a deer. And if it was a really good deer, he wanted to get it mounted. The only problem with that is, is Gary doesn't just shoot anything. He's very particular about the deers that he harvests. He doesn't shoot a deer that's too young. Um, he's very particular about the deers that he takes. And it's great that he is that responsible and he's not just out, you know, even if we need deer meat, he might be a little more lax on his standards if it's a situation of we need the meat for the freezer. But even then, there's certain deer that he will not, you know, take. But since he is so particular about the deers he takes, that means that they're all pretty much mountable specimens and you know he wants to get them mounted so I don't know I don't know what I don't know where we could even put any any more of anything like that I definitely don't want it to look like my home is a museum um, so there is that And there's something I've seen, some, some people have commented, and I want to touch base on this. Um, I know I've said this before, but I really want to say it again. The, this whole thing about um, my pictures aren't good enough, that is ridiculous. Okay, um, and I say this because I had said in the Facebook group I wanted to, you know, feature um, members' pictures as the cover photos and, you know, change those out and things like that. And someone had said that I could use theirs if I thought they were good enough. Um, I saw in comments here on the channel people alluding to the fact that they did not think their art was good enough and I just want everybody to know that my belief on this is that if you enjoyed the time that you spent coloring your picture then your picture is good enough period the only way it's not good enough is if you were miserable and did not enjoy the process. And if that's the case, either you don't enjoy coloring or you're doing something wrong and you need to figure out what that is so you can stop stressing and enjoy the process. That's what this is all about. You know, for so many of us, coloring is about relieving stress, anxiety, pain, you know, whatever that, whatever our, you know, has brought us to, to coloring. And if you're not getting enjoyment, then all you're doing is causing yourself, you know, more problems. But I don't like the, my picture's not good enough mentality at all. Um, I know when it comes to, for so long I was intimidated to color in certain books because I didn't want to mess it up because I wasn't good enough or I was saving that book until my coloring got better. Well, 
Those days are over. I have christened books, and I intend to continue to christen books. I encourage you to christen your books. And just have fun with it. You can't, you really can't do this wrong. If you're having a good time, you're doing it right. And it's perfect. These are my Touch 5 markers that I'm using. I have a love-hate relationship with these things. I use so many colors, but just a pain in the rear to work with sometimes. Um, but, and you know, I've had issues with several of them drying out. I've had to, like, add drops of alcohol into the marker to, reconst you know, to kind of reconstitute them. Um... So, I put them where they are more easily accessible to me when I color. I'm going to try to start using these things more, if for no other reason than to use them up so I can toss them and not have to see them again. <laughs> it's a positive way to look at it, right? To me, with the Touch 5s, it's almost like either they weren't good enough, you know, they weren't they weren't juicy enough or whatever, or they were too good. Yeah, they've been a bit of a struggle. But, 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 but I'm going to use them. And I think that thought pattern with me also just kind of comes from the whole, I'm just doing this to have fun. So I have a tool and I'm going to use it. It is... Tuesday. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. And Gary comes home tomorrow evening, but then he has a 24 hour shift on Thursday. So I'll only be seeing him from the time he gets home until we go to bed, which is only going to be a couple hours. Um, but I'll enjoy getting to see my honey, honey. Emotionally, I've handled this little hunting trip just fine. Um, I didn't get to make as many videos as I had hoped I would during this little trip but I have I have been coloring I also did some more reorganizing on all of my supplies yesterday um, I did get my marker video done that I wanted to do. So if you guys see that and you have any, you know, other questions of things I didn't, you know, really cover. Or if you just wanted more clarification, please let me know. And I can either answer in the comments or I could even make another video. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little 
haven't decided if I'm going to um, upload this video um, today or if I'm going to hold off until tomorrow because I do not have a video to release tomorrow if I release this today. Hopefully I'll be able to get another video made. Either tonight or tomorrow. I really enjoy filming, but I've just had a lot um, going on in my head. It is still not raining here, but it's not sunny either, and it's a little cooler, so... I had heard that we may get some rain this afternoon. I haven't seen any yet, but, you know, we had our fair share of rain already. If it doesn't rain, it's not a big love loss. Let me check something real fast. I think I may rather, let me try this one. Yeah, I think I might like that better. I was going to use the medium pink, but that comes off really bright. I'm not sure about this part of the dress right here, if that's supposed to be this or... Mm. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what do you guys do when you run into an area and you just are not sure what it is? Generally, I will just kind of try to leave it and color everything else and then hope that it becomes obvious to me what it was or what it was supposed to be Sorry if I'm not being very chatty today. It's like I said, there's just so much. I have been using my pencils more. I've worked on a couple pages and I did use pencil in the pages. Now, the one thing I did, um, I did not do the entire page in pencil. I did what I felt, you know, comfortable with at the time. And then I was like, okay, enough's enough. I grabbed my gel pens, <laughs> finished up with gel pens, but... I did one in, in, let me think, Enchanted Forest, yes, Enchanted Forest, this is Johanna Basford, and I currently have a page I'm working on in Magical, jo Magical Jungle, Johanna Basford, and this is all part of my, I'm coloring in my books that have intimidated me for a while. 
I'm going to try my best. You know, I want to color a lot of the cute little books and things I've ordered, and I, and I will. But I'm also wanting um, to color, <coughs> excuse me, in the books that I've kind of neglected. Um, you know, which would be my Johanna Basford books, my Kirby Roseanne's books, um, Mythographic. I got a couple Bennett Klein books um, over the holidays, well, leading up to the holidays that I haven't colored out of yet. So I want to kind of look at the Bennett Klein books too. But I really want to color in these books that I've kind of neglected. And finally, you know, finally get to enjoy them for so long. They were just something, you know, pretty on my shelf. And then that was all part of my thoughts for 2019 and my coloring goals was that I was going to um, get into some of these books. And that's what I've been trying to do. And, you know, guys, I hope you'll join me with that. We bought these books to enjoy, and we need to enjoy them. These little ruffles and stuff have me all kinds of confused which ones are what and what to do with them, so... Doing the best I can. So what are you guys coloring today? Have you tackled any more Jade Summer books? I have seen some very, very beautiful work done for um, It's All About Jade Summer. I've been very impressed by some of the pictures, well, all the pictures that I've seen. I think we've all done a great job. Tiny areas, you know, I get so silent. It's like quiet as a church mouse when I start doing these little teeny tiny areas. <sighs> I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> it doesn't look like part of this, but it doesn't look like part of the blue either. Mmm. I am confused, confused, confused about that. Do you guys have any idea? Do I want to do it blue? Do I want to do it pink? Do I want to do it blue? Do I want to do it pink? I guess I'll just put blue over it and just hope for the best. All right. She's doing this whole umbrella in the house thing and you know, when I was growing up, I was always told that'll give you all kinds of bad luck. You don't open up an umbrella in the house. And there's this little thingy-majigger right there, and I don't know what it is either. 
Yes, it's a thingamajigger. I'm not sure what it is. It's a thingamajig or a thingamajigger or a thingamabob. All right. All righty. Teeny tiny details. I am just really struggling to try to, to think of things to chat about today. I don't know what my deal is. Well, I'm just emotionally kind of not in the right place, I guess. And I'm trying to remember, trying to keep something in mind that I saw on Facebook a while back that really helped me. It made me think. Um, I'll share that with you guys, I guess. Um, the little meme or whatever you want to call them um, basically said, "Your don't worry, your heart knows how to heal. Did any of you guys see that? Um, what it was saying was that our, you know, we're, we're built in a way that our hearts already know how to get over our sadnesses, our heartbreaks, our griefs, um, that it's our mind and that we need to be very careful with our minds, that our minds is what will keep us up at night and not let go. And you have to convince your mind to let go. So your, you know, so you can have peace because your heart knows how to heal. And I can't even really explain that really well in my head. So blah today, but you know, that really kind of hit home and it's true. Our hearts our you know, our, our mind plays all kinds of, um, it really, our minds can really damage us. And I may end up having to end this video early because I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not doing well with it. I'm, I'm just not doing well. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I wanted nothing more in the world than to be here and spend some time with you guys today. Trying to see if I can just decide on a hair color, maybe. That would be wonderful right now. Um, 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 ba bum bum. What is, let's see, I've got to look for the marker. I don't know if I want that or not. We'll try this. I mean, hey, right, it's a coloring page. And the cool thing about Jade Summers are there's two of each one. This is the terracotta. And sometimes it does well as a hair color and other times it's too reddish. I really can't remember how the Touch 5 uh, has looked as hair before. I talked about that in my marker video, how all your different sets of markers may have the same exact color name, but they're different. And terracotta is definitely one of those colors that seems to be different depending on, you know, which set it's in. It may be more of an orangey brown, like you see the terracotta pots um, in some sets. And then in some sets, it 
is more of a red and in some sets it's more of a brown so it just it all really just depends oh so I was so excited today this was one of the good things that happens and I do try every day when something good happens to um, make a mental note of that as a blessing, you know, so it doesn't, at that point, it doesn't matter what kind of bad things happen. Um, the rest of the day, you can always remember those little blessings. And today, we reached 800 subscribers. Yay! That really excited me. It made me feel good. Um, that means we are 200 subscribers away from the big giveaway and the big party. I'm still trying to uh, kind of play out in my mind how I want to handle that big 1,000. You know, that seems like a huge deal to me. I mean, I never imagined, truly imagined that this channel would have more than maybe a couple hundred subscribers, like ever. So... You know, uh, 300 blew my mind, 400 blew my mind, 500 blew my mind. Every time I hit one of those milestones, it's just, it's a huge, huge deal. Gary called me at lunchtime when he was making himself a sandwich. You know, he came out of the woods or whatever for that. And that was one of the first things I wanted to tell him when I got on the phone with him. And I think when I first said, okay, I'm going to do this YouTube channel... I think he kind of thought that I was being silly or crazy or something. I'm not sure. I don't think he understood. But um, I think he has saw, I think he's realized how helpful this has been to me. It's really helped to bring me out of my shell. Um, overall, it's made me a happier person. I've been able to... Um, build relationships with people and you know that I share a common interest with and um, it's it's been a real it's been a real blessing and I think he um, has began to see just how um, much you guys have helped me and I think he gets it now a lot more he seems he's beginning to seem um, generally excited are genuinely genuinely excited when I tell him about these little milestones for the longest time I think he thought that my coloring was silly I don't think he understood it in a lot of ways I think he felt like I think sometimes he felt like he was being neglected because I would just sit in color and then over time, he began to understand that when I really threw myself into coloring was generally when I was struggling um, the most. And it was soothing, and that's why I, you know, would turn to that. And, um... You know, and then it blew my mind when I found out about ColorTube. And I found out about Facebook, some of the Facebook groups first. And then I had just, there was some reason I looked something up on YouTube um, in relation to a question I had. And it was coloring related, but of course, but when all of these channels started popping up I was like oh my goodness I had no idea this this community existed on this level um, so I really got into watching the color tube channels and I realized how much they were helping me so that's when I started debating starting my own channel because I think that we all have, you know, we all have very unique experiences in our lives, and that's why I really like the color and chats, because you're able to get on a personal level with, um, 
the the YouTubist or color tubist, um, and you can benefit from each other's life experiences. You know, everybody brings something unique, and I just love it. And I wanted to, you know, if there was any way that I could ever help anyone, I wanted to definitely um, do that. So, when I get likes and subscribers and all those things, it just makes me feel like um, this was a good idea. And that some of you at least like my content. <laughs> Sometimes I think that it's silly and I'm like, oh, that video was horrible. And it's it's crazy sometimes. It seems like the videos that I think are the worst are the ones that you guys comment on the most. And they seem to have been the most well received. So I'm just going to stop second guessing myself and just go with the flow and throw it out there. Tight space. <laughs> this little chick has a lot of hair. And I don't think that I'll be finishing this entire picture on video. Um, we'll see. I was thinking this seemed like it would be quick and easy, you know, simple grayscale. But there seems to be a lot to do in this little picture. We are at least going to get our girl colored here. So what are your plans for the rest of the week? Does anybody have anything special going on? Oops, pull it right over her little bobby pin. Oh, well. It's just a color page. Excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. I had to run out to the store. We were completely out of eggs. And we eat a lot of eggs around here. Eggs are very low carb. So when you're diabetic, you can pretty much have however many eggs you want. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to need to take a sip of my drink. Okay. I hope that helps. But we had ran out. And um, so I had to go get that. I picked myself up a Starbucks while I was out. I got the a gingerbread mocha. Trying to still enjoy it while it's still there. It'll be gone pretty soon because, you know, that's generally one of their Christmas flavors. So I doubt they'll order any more. And that's one of my f absolute favorites. The Books a Million bookstore that we have here in town... In the fall, they had a really good one. It was caramel apple. It was delicious. Do you guys do like specialty coffees? And if you do, what are your favorite flavors? 
My favorite, just creamer, I get, I think it's International Delights. I think. Um, but it is Salted Caramel Mocha. That is my absolute favorite coffee creamer. And I have a hard time finding it sometimes in the stores here. I don't know if they're just not ordering enough or if it's just that popular. But um, when I do find it in stock, I will generally get like three of those at a time. Um, because I don't like running out of that. That's my absolute favorite. Sometimes I wish I was more comfortable with my chisel nib so I could just break that bad boy out. But I'm going to have to do a lot of practicing with my chisel. Because I can definitely see the benefits to using it. I'm going to see if Gary will maybe take me out for Chinese tomorrow night. I was kind of craving some Chinese before he left, but we didn't get to do that. And I would really like some Chinese food. It's between Chinese and like a southern country cooking kind of restaurant. Those are my favorites. My next would be probably Mexican after that. But I love going like to the restaurants that have buffets um, for Chinese. And I also like the buffets that are like the country cooking buffets. We have a restaurant here called um, the Fried Green Tomato or Fried Tomato. It's either Fried Green Tomato or Fried Tomato. Um, have you guys ever had any Fried Green Tomatoes? Oh my goodness. If you haven't, you have no idea what you're missing. But um, we have that and it's a buffet restaurant and it's very inexpensive um, when you consider what you get. It's about $10 a person, and that includes your drink. It's a little bit higher on the weekends, more like 11 something a person on the weekends. But um, they have like maybe three different meats a night. Um, all kinds of different vegetables, a dessert bar, a salad bar. And it's just really good because what I like to do is get just like a tiny spoonful of all kinds of stuff. I get bored if I have like one meat and two veggies. <laughs> that kind of bores me. I like to have like whatever kind of meat I want. But then I like to have like four or five, six different veggies on my plate. But just like little spoonfuls of each one. So that's why I really like to go to um, like those kind of buffets. And the same way with Chinese, I don't want just, um, you know, like teriyaki chicken. Um, I like to have the different shrimps and the different chickens and a little bit of the different beefs. And, you know, I just kind of get a little bit of everything. That's what I really like to do. That's my favorite way to eat. Getting to try a little bit of everything. So, I'll ask him if he'll take me to get me some Chinese tomorrow night. I'll have to remember to ask him when he calls me tonight after their evening hunt and see what his plans are. I'm not even sure exactly what time he's coming in. But he's going to have to drive through an area that has one of those uh, buffets like that. So, I could just meet him there if it's going to be like dinner time 
That way he won't have to come like all the way home and us leave again. Because it's a, it's a nice little piece to, I mean, it's about six miles to our, six, seven miles to where we have our Walmart and an Ingalls, which is a type of grocery store. Um, but there's really not any good restaurants like that in that town. And so we have to drive at least 15 miles to the next town that does have a lot more choices. So if he's going to have to drive straight kind of through there anyway, it makes no sense to drive through and then come all the way home and then us leave again and go when I can drive over. In the morning, I'm going to go have breakfast with my parents um, as long as uh, everything's still going okay. And, you know, I don't think that they're going to have to, like, go anywhere, but just in case with everything going on, you know, you never know. Um, I'm going to go have breakfast with them in the morning. And I have a coupon for Kohl's that came in the mail, and it is a $10 off any $10.01 or more purchase. So I'm going to Kohl's tomorrow, and I'm going to find me something for $10. <laughs> it's that bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to find me something for $10 and just pay the tax. I wonder how long it'll take me. To find something. But I'm going to do that in the morning. And today was the day the truck was finally going to come in to my Tuesday morning. I may drop in a Tuesday morning while I'm out and see if they got any more of the Spectrum New York markers at that store. If they did, and if they have the pastels, I may buy another pack of the pastels. Um, I don't know about the essentials. Um, I like the essentials, but I really super liked the pastels. So, and those are colors that, there were so many colors in there that I really don't have in any of my other marker sets. They were very unique. So, I'd like to have some backups of those if I could. And I need new markers like I need a hole in my head. I mean, truly. I think I'm all in the white of her eyes. Oh, shame on me. Oh, and my, oh my goodness, my, um, Posca pen. I keep having problems with my Posca pens or they just don't want to work right. And I will shake them really good and try to reprime them and paint will come out in like glumps, but it won't work right. And I don't know what the deal is with this. It just seems like they work really good in the beginning and then they just kind of kaput. And I know that there's plenty of ink still inside of it. Um, do any of you have issues like that with your Posca pens? And if you do, what in the world do you do? I mean, how do you fix it? Um, and have you found a special way to store it that it may work better? Um, I mean, I keep mine laying flat. And that's, you know, the only thing that I can think to do with that. I cannot imagine what's going wrong with my Posca pens. But it just kind of did this. My new one that I hadn't had opened for very long at all did that to me last night. And I'm like, really? So. If you guys have any advice on that, by all means, please let me know. 
I mean, I love, love, love the Posca pens, but I mean, it's just, it's expensive to think about having to constantly replace them when they're not out of ink. She's actually really cute. At least I think so. And little hearts in her eyes. <laughs> That's cute. All right. I think she is a very, very cute. I'm going to go ahead and stop right there for this video. We've got the girl colored. We just need to do the background and things. I will probably just go ahead and save this picture right where it's at and work on this some more later. Maybe on camera. Um, I don't want to like super duper promise that and then not be able to deliver, but... We'll see how that goes. Sometimes um, I'm like, yeah, let me just sit back down on camera and finish this up. So I wanted to show you guys something. I picked this up at Walmart and I wanted to see if any of you have had any experience with this. It is made by Plaid um, and it's folk arts um, and it's called Glitterific. I've heard of the super glitters, but this one's called Glitterific acrylic paint. This one is clear hologram. Can you guys see that? Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. And I haven't used any of the acrylic paints in coloring, so this will be new to me, but look at that, guys. Isn't that just the neatest? Look at this. See if you guys can see this on my hand. Can you guys, can you see the glitter? I can see the glitter on my end. It's super duper holographic glittery. And I can't wait to kind of try this on a picture. This was like $3.50, I think, at my local Walmart in their craft section. And if you guys have had any experience with these acrylic glittery paints, let me know. What do you apply them with? How's the best way to do that? And have you tried this glitterific? So, oh, that's it for this video. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I've had a lot of fun. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you will consider subscribing. We would love to have you here. And until next time, guys, peace, love, and happy coloring. Bye, guys. Did you guys think you were getting rid of me that easy? No way, Jose. I'm back. I uh, needed to do a little update to the video, so I just said, hey, hey, let's just do this and keep coloring and move right along. So I had said that I did not receive the Derwent eraser. It came in the mail today. I was sure that it was lost because I received the pencil case several days ago. And so I just kind of assumed that the eraser was not coming. So um, I just wanted to say that in the video. And then it came today. I'll show it to you. Isn't it nice? I love it so much. You press the button. It's just really, really nice. I love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to use it. And I have been using some of my pencils, so it will get used. And I have the pencil case. Isn't it gorgeous, guys? Absolutely gorgeous. And I put all of my Prismas inside. I like that these are singled. And 
Um, I've got several other cases that I'm looking at to um, expand my others that are in the different cases. So I can get them into these. I just feel that it probably protects the pencil a lot um, better. And then this is what Deb sent me that I got yesterday. Love it, love it, love it. I'm absolutely in love with Clara Markova. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of happy, happy coloring is coming with that. So, so, so. Guess what I did? I did not put a page. You guys, did anybody else notice that this? I didn't have a page here? So, I got ink over here. It's a good thing I'm not a huge vampire fan. Um, that was the only page it went through. So, not too bad, I guess. Not the best, but not too, too bad. Um, so, I am starving. My mother-in-law is not here right now. She had errands she needed to run today. And a lot of times when she runs errands like that, she just randomly brings home food. So I was almost afraid to eat. And I really didn't want, you know, to cook anything because I wasn't going to cook just for me. I didn't know if she had eaten yet. I didn't know if she might bring something home. So I've just kind of been waiting. And I am absolutely starving. So I have no idea what time she'll get in, and I am afraid to cook, because by now I'm sure she is eaten um, if she's not bringing something. So I don't know what to do. Kind of at a loss. And I don't know how, how long I'll sit in color with you guys, but I did want to let... The sub lovely subscriber who sent me the pencil case and the eraser know that it is here. That way, um, they wouldn't contact Amazon and be upset that it was not delivered. So, I have not heard any news on my cousin yet. And we don't want to call my uncle up and ask too many questions when... Um, when Brooke passed away, I know everyone had the best of intentions. My phone was ringing off the hook and I handed my phone off to Gary and I did not touch my phone for probably two weeks. It was just, you know, I didn't want to talk to anybody and... I know how I felt, so the last thing I'm going to do is call him right now. I do not know what my cousin's condition is at this point, if he has passed, um, if the support was indeed removed. I mean, I don't, I don't know anything, and I'm not going to bother him um, by asking questions right now. In my opinion, it's a very private time. I know that's how I wanted it to be for me. And when he is ready to share information, I know he will. So, I called my parents before I turned the camera back on so I could just make sure that they had not heard anything. And they had not. Uh, my phone does not ring when... Uh, it doesn't ring out loud when I am recording. It'll just show that I had a missed call when I stop recording, so. And I'm definitely not expecting a call from Gary until later because they will hunt until it's dark, which it's getting dark now, but, um, you know, they still have to get back to the campsite and they'll probably go ahead and start their food for the night and all of that before he calls, so. Um, I saw that Jay Summer has released their new book, uh, Something Designs, uh, Relaxing Designs or something like that. 
I looked at the flip through on, well, the list where it shows the images on Jade Suburbs website. I'm not going to be buying the book. Um, it's very zen doodly and I'm really not a big fan. You know, I like to color things like this when it is just like an image of, say, a bear and it's like the bear's head and there's all this zen doodle stuff going on. I'm not a big fan of that. That's why I have not purchased any of, what is it, Millie Mulatto or something like that, Mulatta. Um, I don't have any of her books because I get that feel. It's just way too busy for me. Um, I like to color scenes, but I don't really like to just color those patterns. But I do like mandalas, so it's kind of strange. But So I'm going to pass on this Jade Summer book, but if you guys have not seen that the book is out yet, I believe it's called Relaxing Designs. It should be on sale for $3.99 right now on Amazon if you want to go pick that up for yourself. I finished my picture in Magical Jungle before I hop back on camera. It was a lot of fun. Oh, and I got the biggest surprise in the mail today, guys. A subscriber sent me, and they weren't on my wish list. Um, she just happened to have, she had asked for my home address a while back, and I had given that to her, and um, I received the eight count of the Pentel Hybrid Metallics. Oh my goodness. I could not quit saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. When I put those down on paper, they are so glimmery and shiny and amazing. You know, it's like they're one color on white paper and they're a different color on black paper with the exception of the gold and silver, I believe. Um, but wow, they're, they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. If they came in a hundred colors, I would so buy them. So I put some spark, you know, some pops of that. Um, I put some pops of that on the page that I was working on because I was using some gel pens anyway. And um, so. I thought that it would be nice to be able to try those out. And the purple turned out a little, because it's, you can still see the other shades in it also. Like the purple, I think it's like a purple and blue. And the blue showed up a little more than, I mean, so it kind of contrasted a little with my other colors. But that's okay. It still looks amazing, in my opinion. And I am still on the fence as to whether or not to get pastel pencils. I cannot decide. Part of me really, really wants them, but I also know that I would probably have to use a fixative with them. And I'm not too much into using fixatives. When I use like a pastel background, I will put it on and then I will scrub, 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 scrub to make sure it's in, you know, to the paper or whatever really good. And then I just close the book on it. Um, so, yeah, if it's something that I'm going to have to constantly, like, worry over kind of thing, I don't think I want to get them. I have them sitting in my wish list, and I can't decide. I looked up some YouTube videos. They weren't very helpful. They were just kind of, like, basic 
review video and that's really not what I was looking for. I wanted to really see them in action. Um, but I guess most people do use them, you know, just for like sketching. And I just kind of wanted to know, you know, opinions on using them for coloring. Um, I know I had a subscriber say they work well on top of the pit pens, you know, but I don't want to spend that much money just to lay pencil over marker, if that makes sense. I think my mother-in-law may be home. Um, so I am definitely going to have to get myself something to eat one way or another. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her walking in the door right now. Yep, yep. Oh my goodness, that is part of the clock, right? Because it doesn't look right down here. Hmm. I hope I didn't mess that up. Can you hear my mother-in-law? She's greeting Bradley. All right, guys, I am going to go help her unload whatever she has in the car. Um, I will be back in just a little while. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I am back. My belly is a full, so that is good. Um, I did receive the call from my mom. Uh, my cousin Todd passed away just after 5 p.m. today. So please be in prayer for my uncle Charles. Um, as this will be a very uh, difficult time for him. Okay. I cannot help but be a tad confused with the way this clock's looking to me. So I heated up the leftover spiraled ham and the blagadoos and had that and I smothered my black eyed peas with mayonnaise as per my usual with those I'm the same way when it comes to um, like pinto beans, I'll put mayonnaise on them as well. Um, Gary thinks it's disgusting. I'm sure several of you probably do also, but I like it. A dish some some people here in the south do as well is taking a half of a pear and putting mayonnaise in it give me one second Bradley's wanting in let me go open this door come on mothers alright settle your little down Okay, so now I've got Bradley. Um, anyway, they'll take like a, a pear slice and they'll put mayonnaise in the center and then sprinkle it on top with um, 
shredded cheese. And that's another little weird thing some Southerners will eat. Of course, we eat our grits. And in the South, we eat those with butter, salt, and pepper. And I love those. That's what I had for breakfast with some toast and two slices of bacon. And that was yummy. What is going on here? That's not, maybe that is part of the back of her hair. It looks like her hair is kind of flipped around there. And, and that's what I was saying earlier about sometimes if you just keep coloring, um, the things that you weren't sure about will kind of start to reveal themselves. So that's what happened there. Okay. I know I'm not really zoomed in or anything for you guys. I'm sorry. But I did want to just kind of pop back on and see if I could finish this up a little more with you guys since I needed to do a little update to the video anyway. And I'm going to try to go to bed extremely early. Um, I doubt I will succeed. But for those of you on the Facebook group, the Arteza 72 pencils are going back on lightning deal at like 4.33 a.m. And last time they went on a lightning deal, they were $19.98. And I know I just got them like a week ago, but a second pack would be good because there's a $5 coupon listed on them like right now. So I'm hoping what will happen is that... Um, the coupon will stay in place like it did the last time they went on sale. Because the last time they went on sale, the coupon never got removed. So, I was able to get the 30% um, the off coupon, I think it was then, as well as um, the, I'm looking for a color and I'm trying to think, so bear with me. Um, as well as the price discount. So I'm going to try that again and see because if that means if they do go to 1998, that they will be like less than $15 for the 72 count. So if that's what happens, I will buy a backup. I used them a little today. And I did like them. They are harder than a Prisma. But, um, you know, that's okay. I honestly think that the harder lead for me, because I, the day before yesterday, I colored some with my Faber-Castell Faber Gold Fabers. And I was very impressed with the Gold Fabers. They worked very well. They were a little harder than the Prisma, and I didn't have to sharpen my pencil as much. So, that was a welcome change, because I really struggle um, having to sharpen pencils so often. And I was worried about it, just, you know, wearing out the pencils. So, that worked well. So, for those leads to be a little strong, a little not quite as soft, maybe that's a good thing for me. We'll see. Um... I, it may end up that I am a Polly's Chromos girl. I mean, I need to work some more with these Faber-Castell Gold Fabers. And if any of you have experience with Polychromos as well as with the Gold Fabers, can you let me know um, how their softness um, compares to each other as far as, you know, the way they work? And let me know... Um, because if they're close, I might it it might do me to look in to using the polychromos and see if that helps some. I know it'll be a little harder on my hand, but being as heavy-handed as I am, if it saves my pencil, 
that might be a good thing. So, we'll see. Um, I've got the 12 count of the polychromos. So I've just got to figure out kind of a way to, to use those and test them out real well. I'm just curious what maybe your opinions were on those two. You know, the gold favors and the polychromos. Um, now that I'm wanting to experiment with pencils, it's like I would love to have every brand. I've tried out the different budget brands and come to the conclusion I was not a fan. And when I say budget brands, I mean like the ones I could buy at Walmart and things like that. And I really was not a fan of any of those um, at all. So that's when I finally, um, I've got the Heroes, which are okay. And then I bought my Prismas. I'm having a margarita right now. Um, kind of just a toast to my cousin. Um, had a hard time sleeping last night, you know, with everything. I just, I don't know. I'm okay, though. I'm not going to get tipsy and try to color with you guys. <laughs> Promise. I didn't really even make it that strong. And that's a good thing because I have no tolerance anymore because I, like, rarely ever drink. But on this occasion, I thought it would be okay. I thought you guys would understand. So that's kind of a in full disclosure moment. Oh, I totally forgot here. I'm going to have a line right there because I just walked off and let that just sit there like that oh well I will get over it I will live to color another day I'm not sure what I'm going to start coloring next on my own I'm not sure I have colored in every Johanna Basford book this month, with the exception of Christmas and Lost Ocean. Lost Ocean is probably my least favorite. Um, I'm not really, I mean, I like mermaids and stuff like that. I like Denise Klett's books and things, but just oceany kind of things are not really my, my groove. But, I may color a picture in that. I mean, I bought the book mainly because I wanted to have all of, all of the Johanna Basford books. But, if I'm going to have it, I need to use it. That's kind of my new rule. No longer what am I going to buy things and just sit them on a shelf. It's going to be my goal for 2019. Maybe you guys will join me in just venturing out using those books and those supplies and especially all of these books that we are like we're not you know saving for when we're good enough and all of those no more intimidation no more you're taking control okay And at this point, guys, I'm just really just throwing some color down. I'm not even, I am not even paying much attention to trying to figure out what I want to do with this. 
It's color on paper. And that's really what I kind of, I really like that about these Jade Summer Grayscale books is that, you know, you can, you can just kind of pick things up and throw it down and it looks great. Okay. Let's do with this little lamp. Actually, it's not a lamp, it's a vase. Silly me. Silly Donna tricks her for kids. Grabbing markers and moving right along. <laughs> There's like greenery mixed in here with these flowers, and I'm trying to just kind of see if I can tell the difference between the flowers and the greenery, and then whatever I don't do. This pink color, I'm just going to go in and do green. I'm not stressing this too bad. It'll be what it'll be. Alright. I do need to get the little rest of that wall though. That I messed up there. right there. Grab myself a green. I think that's supposed to be part of a flower, but it's not now. Okay, the top of this is done. Um, Okay. I keep opening up the wrong end of the marker and they're clearly marked. I don't understand what the problem is. This is a little boy kitty with his little blue bow tie. And he's going to be and orange tabby if I can find I think I'm missing some of these markers I think somehow they've gotten mixed in with something else and I don't understand how that would happen but I don't know Let's do his little, no, uh, yeah, why not, we're going to do his little stripes here, and his little face marking. Okay. 
think this might be a marker I'm gonna have to add a little alcohol to it's feeling kind of dry and I really never use these markers much because I wasn't impressed with, with them really and when I got my Cali Arts I really didn't use these anymore um, every so often I would but not very but yeah, I'm leaving this marker off to the side because I'm going to need to add a little bit of alcohol. You know, and you can just kind of open the chisel end and just put like drops of alcohol down the chisel tip. It'll soak in the alcohol and send it over to the other side so the other nib gets all the ink down in it because I really don't use my chisel all that much so chisel lens just aren't that important to me okay we need a gray kitty we do we need a little gray kitty and let's see. Not that. Um I don't find it quick. I'm just going to grab a gray, any old gray. There we go. Threaten it and it, you know, threaten it and it comes around. I wanted a blue gray. He's got his little tongue sticking out. Cute little fella. We like him. Pink on his tongue. Oh, this one has his little tongue sticking out too. Okay, what color for the last kitty cat? Um, <coughs> my goodness, excuse me. Kitty, kitty, speak to me. I guess I'll just do a light brown. Maybe. These little spots here. Um, maybe these little paws. So he'll have like two toned paws. Okay. Marker's not close to there. I looked over and my marker I was using was not closed well, so. I wanted to make sure I got that snap closed. Hmm. This is going to lighten up. Right now it looks way too dark, but it's the black color. You know, the black on the back of the Jay Summer books. It's that black showing through, but it lightens up and it looks okay.
and he's either napping or asking for a tummy rub. I know a lot of cats do not like their tummies rubbed, and then some do. It's really weird. I don't know that I've ever really met a dog that didn't like his tummy rub. I know Briley loves it. That is his jam. Okay. Got a little out of the lines there, but we'll live. It will be okay. All right. Come in and do this little um, area rug. Put some color on the floor. And that'll be a wrap. And again, you know, I'm really sorry I didn't do the flower girls today. Um, I'll get that planned in the next couple days. Just give me a chance to get my head back on straight so I can think. Um, I have not even really watched Color Tube um, since I received that phone call yesterday. Um, I've replied to your comments on any of my videos, but to sit down and watch anything. I really haven't. Um, and I watched some really weird stuff last night on TV, just out of, I really wasn't watching. I was more just kind of staring at it, but uh, you know, just give me a couple days and I am sure my brain will seem to start to function again. It's just, I'm a little overwhelmed right now, I guess would be a good word. So many little jagged edges there. I'm sure the marker is kind of bleeding anyway, so it's not like they're going to show very well. But I felt better about taking my time to do it. And sometimes that's what it's all about. I'm just going to go over the floor with pearl white. That's what I used on the clock face. I was trying to see. I was trying to see how long I've been on the this particular video and I can't make it out. Got too much of a glare from my light. It looked like 27 minutes. Okay. Let's go over this floor. And then I need to do something with these kitty cat's eyes.
must practice with my chisel nib. It would be a great time to use it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. pile of markers over here beside me. <laughs> okay. You're coming up on the home. Stretch now. Okay. There's that. I really don't know what to do with these kitty cat's eyes. Hmm. This kitty cat can have light green eyes. seen that a lot on the gray cats. This little joker here I'll give him a little bit of a yellow eye. Come on, there we go. And she is done, guys. What do you think? Easy, easy peasy. Love Jade Summer Grayscale. I would love so much for them to grayscale all of their books. I think it would be amazing. All right. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. This is truly the end this time. <laughs> so, once I say goodbye, there is no more. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And give me a few days. I'll have my head back on straight. And be ready to rock on forward. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace, love, and Happy coloring. Bye, guys.